right, guys, welcome back to another podcast. We have uh, a great guest today, Mia Makova. Welcome to the show. Thank welcome. you. Hi, hi, everybody. Can it's I been say? a while. It's been a while? Yeah. That so you've been trying to get me. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, like last month, we were like, we're about to get Mia on. Like, she's excited to come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then you had like your surgery and stuff on your foot. And we're like, finally. We got I it. know. We got now it. I'm here. Let's go. What happened to your foot? Did you break it? Um, well, see, I'm in like a little boat. It's mm-hmm. so, it's so swollen. I still can't fit it in shoes, mm-hmm. but I was in a glass box doing a photo shoot and the top, which was like a huge slab of heavy wood with plexiglass yeah. glued to it, fell down and chopped it to the bone. Oh. Are you serious? Yeah, no, oh. it, it hit the bone and like it, it exposed the tendon and everything. I'm lucky that my toes work. Yeah, oh, bro. Yeah, it's that still it's still open. I was really bad on this foot. Like as soon as I could walk without being in too much pain, I was like walking everywhere and doing yeah. everything. So I popped a couple of the stitches and then I got it infected so they couldn't stitch it back up. So now it's like half open and I just have to deal with it. But it was <laughs> glass that it was a plexiglass wall that fall. fell down. It was plexiglass glued to a slab of uh, wood, which was heavy. Okay. So it just like popped it open. You're going to have to use your other foot for foot photos now. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I, I I'm, I'm jokingly ass. saying, like, rest in peace, feet pictures. My <laughs> yeah. foot's hideous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of them's just <laughs> brutal right super. Now. All the foot one fetishes, has, guys. Well, I imagine you lost, like, three of your toes. Is that what it has been like? I'm so happy it hit where it did. Could yeah. you imagine? Well, yeah, like, losing toes, It's all, apparently it's, like, really hard. Like, you wouldn't think it's hard to walk oh, after, yeah. like, losing toes. But, like, apparently it's, you have to, like, go through, like, a full rehab process. Yeah, for, exactly. Like, losing, like, a you get, like, fake toe. toes? I would get fake toes. Hey, everyone. We want to take a second to thank my bookie with the Final Four now starting. Final Four after a two-year absence is underway. My bookie is the most premier sports book for sports betting. I'm personally into soccer. I like to bet on different games, but obviously we have different sports that people are into. Using our code, the sync, you can actually put money into my bookie, bet, and then they will match your initial investment. Match? Yeah. Like match. you put in 200 bucks, they will match you 200. They will match your money that you put into the app. That's insane. All right, so guys, yes, if you guys want to try my bookie and have your first deposit match, make sure to use code the sync and click this link right here. If you're listening on Spotify or Apple, go to our description. It'll be the top of the description. My bookie, go check it out. Thank you guys. Yeah, but you then, would, right? You'd always have to have the same toe polish. I'd get metal toes. You could get like a little... You know, get some like sick a cyborg. Do you love those some, cyborg? Yeah, some sick metal toes. And then yeah. I would only do feet picks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> those would yeah. be like a premium. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Good. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, let's kick like it off. Uh, you've you've said before that um, bef- uh, you've ex- you've br- brought out a lot more of your personality now, and I've mm-hmm. noticed it because we have friends with like Tommy, Bryce. You mm-hmm. see it in the videos. Uh, you show a lot more your personality versus before. You said that you're a lot more you sexual, like a sexualized version of yourself. Mm-hmm. How do you think that's changed, and how do you think that that started to happen? Is it you mentioned social media, right? Yeah. Um, truthfully, I think it's when I started streaming on Twitch. Mm-hmm. It's like I was just in front of a camera for eight hours and you just like end up being yourself. And yeah. then I got a lot of love back for it. So I felt more comfortable because I think part of it was just insecure insecurity. Um, like, oh, they're not interested if I'm not like doing something super sexy or, yeah. or whatever. Um and then also, like, I'm a little quirky, and mm-hmm. I do have a big personality, and I don't think I'm for everybody. Um, but over over the years, I've just kind of learned to accept it, and I just feel very comfortable being myself now. Yeah. You guys, yeah. you do, like, the yoga stream, like, yoga streams, right, on, on your Twitch? You no. used to. Or you used to. No, sometimes. Yeah. Because I'm, yeah. It was a lot it of would gaming. Be, yeah, it was a lot of gaming. Really? So I would, I would main, mainly game and then talk to chat, but then I'd like to take little breaks. Since I was there for, like, eight hours, I was like, okay, now time to stretch and like take a little break and move my body so I that's it yeah. and that's also it. farm clips <laughs> yeah. Yeah. that's okay cool and then you started hanging out with more of the youtubers bryce mm-hmm. uh tommy uh is it is it are you noticing that like you're, you're are they youtubers or tiktokers they're i mean they're TikTokers, uh, TikTokers, you're right. yeah yeah I mean, yeah, yeah, right. They're not. Bryce is more. Uh, no, nah. yeah. he, yeah, he does YouTube. T- he yeah. Does YouTube. yeah, yeah, but I would call him a TikToker. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's just like you'd call well, me a porn cool. star, and I'm on all these platforms. But true. I'm a porn star. True, true, true. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's a perfect way. Of, yeah, because Bryce has been on. He's famous from TikTok. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's how he ma- mainly blew up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but then, so while I was doing this pre-show, right, so I was kind of looking into like your background, where you got started. I didn't realize that we kind of live in the. Like this, like the hub of porn, mm-hmm. like wood, yeah. like the, the valley, Woodland the valley. Hills. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize it, but this is where a lot of things started back in the day, and they they continue to be right. Mm-hmm. I was, um, let's see, I moved to LA. I grew up in the Inland Empire, and I moved to LA when I was twenty, 
And then I was in the Valley for five years. And that's mm. literally where all of the porn was. It, a little bit was in Vegas, but it was all around here. Did everyone just like live in this area? Yeah, really? most of us were like in Wilden Hills. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> we were crazy. all neighbors. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, why here? Like, is it? I have no idea. Maybe because it's less expensive than downtown. Okay. True. Yeah. Like we have, porn stars weren't making like like they made good money, but not not compared to what we make now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, like a lot of like movies are filmed out here too. So it's like, I mean, if you're filming True. like you know, yeah. not it's all the same thing. Yeah. If you're filming like not porn movies, then like you know, you get, I mean, it's like similar sets, but just the yeah. the content's a little bit different. Uh, take take us back to like what is what are porn producers like? We were talking about this before. I'm so curious because you have the the stereotype of porn producers in the valley, they're in Woodland Hills, but are, is, is it kind of like that? What's the industry like? Um, I'm thinking more. Are you thinking producers or directors? Uh, yeah, like directors. The directors. directors it's yeah. the people like the big personalities. You see them yeah. a lot on online. Um, I mean they're big personalities. Um, it's always honestly like it's very different depending on what company you're working for. There's a lot higher end companies, and then there's ones that are lower end. Yeah. And especially at the beginning, I was just kind of shooting for everybody. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, it, it's, it's always different, but I guess it would be a lot of what you think it would be, but at the same time, more professional and not professional. <laughs> like, yeah. <it's> just, <laughs> <laughs> like, it could be very professional, but at the same time, there could be a lot of shit going on. Like, like what do they do? What is like, that? What's their pre-show? Like, yeah, like, wh- how do they like, prepare? Yeah, because right? like, we're like pre-show for you, like for a podcast. How do they pre-show like a like a, a porn scene like how do they like oh i mean i think uh, like they just kind of look the girl up look at things they've done before like i used to do a lot of flexibility so mm-hmm. a lot of the time i would have a script for me and it would be you know oh this girl's flexible oh she has a great ass we're going to incorporate these things for her they built a story around that yeah yeah okay yeah I that's crazy that's sick is there ever like a line of because i mean obviously you're talking about like very like sexual things in a workplace or like you know, it's just like a very sexual, sexual yeah. workplace. So, yeah. when is there a, like what's like the line of like okay, like you can't say that or like like I mean, f- like in you know, like if it gets like weird and like kind of like creepy. In my experience, like there wasn't a line for me <laughs> <laughs> or with me. Like everyone's just been able to. But I also think like I'm very open and I'm very friendly, so I also feel like I make people comfortable, so they yeah. feel. And then, like you said, it is a very sexualized environment. Literally, you're fucking somebody, yeah. and you're doing all of these things. Um, so there was never really a line no. as far like, as like never. comments and all of that. Yeah. Yeah, because I've always just like wondered. I don't know. It's, it's got to be a pretty fun and loose like work environment. Like, you know, it was pretty you gotta fun. have fun with it. Yeah, it was fun. You do have to have fun with it. So, yeah. and then I guess in that uh, industry as well. It, the ecosystem of uh, like the celebrities of porn isn't really talked about like how like Hollywood is. So is there like beef and like, you know, like between like oh, porn, like porn drama? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like because, you know, it's, it's not, it's never like, um, <laughs> like Johnny sins can only film with you and like some, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like, or it's like, for, like other, like Brandy love hates, you know, this isn't Brandy love hot. I love Brandy. I love, love Brandy love. love. I, I, I just want to give Brandy love a hug. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a hug from Brandy. I, I worked with her. I think when I was like twenty or twenty-one, I was like oh, blown away. She's yeah, so she's fucking. A, hot. She's like yeah. I'd say she's like ultimate milf. Her, yeah, her, her and Kendra one. Lust are my favorite milfs. Kendra Lust. Lust. Kendra Lust. Oh, Lust. Yeah. Learn about. I, was, it. I mean, uh, I love all the milfs, but I'll those are research. the those are like the favorites. Yeah, that Brandy Love was goaded, mm-hmm. or is goaded, yeah. still goaded. We all love milfs, don't we? Yeah, we do. Oh okay. yeah, it's hard Great. not to. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to have an anti milf stance. <laughs> yeah, but so but so like, is there beef? Like, like do people like not like each other? Like, is there like oh, drama? Oh yeah, there's, there's and, like, total beef and drama. I don't remember it though, cause I didn't have like a ton of beef. Like the only beef I ever had was like it always involved like a a guy or an ex or something like that. Oh, what really? do you mean like a boyfriend didn't want you to shoot with somebody or how how what do you Um mean? that was definitely the case. Like okay. my ex-husband, he was a porn star and he didn't want me to shoot with certain people if he didn't like them and he had beef with them. That was definitely an issue. Um he had cheated on me early on in our relationship with another porn star who I've completely like under the water, I don't even care anymore. What is the line? Yeah, what is cheating? that line? Yeah. Oh, um. Like, what is the boundaries of cheating in an open? In relation? an open really So the the thing is with porn, like what we had did was we had said, hey, on camera that's work, off camera we're mon- monogamous and we're together and we respect each other. And he was the one who had asked me out and said, hey, I want to be monogamous with you off camera. And I found out a month later 
Then he, he was like cheating. started cheating yeah. pretty much right away. Um, but th- yeah, that's that's pretty much the line. And it does. It's not like it's a huge deal that you know you had sex with somebody else. It's more the betrayal part because obviously we were having sex with other people on yeah. camera. Yeah, it's just not being like honest. So yeah, yeah, telling them. It's yeah. interesting that you can you, you specify that on camera is part of like an open relationship because it's just well, on camera. I've heard on camera is like a job. Yeah, it's a job. Go, right? It really it's was a it job. Would, so it's a close relationship yeah. in that yeah. case. It's a monogamous. I wouldn't call it monogamous. So I would I would specifically say off camera is monogamous because okay. like at the okay. end of the day, especially early on, I really did enjoy sh- like shooting with a lot of these guys, and I did enjoy like having sex with them. And you are technically having sex, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't call it monogamous i would just say off camera okay yeah i feel that i mean and so like in my sexual experience with like some girls like it's nothing like porn right so but like with you uh not like filming behind cam like on camera is it kind of like the same th- kind of like the same thing or is there more like intimate like, oh it's stuff? so much more intimate more like where, oh it's i'm so different is it, is it like oh you're way different like, i'm on, so different on camera than off camera? yeah i'm a lot shyer <laughs> I'm a lot less confident because it's me. It's not a character. Like, True, right. And um, I actually don't yeah. like dirty talk. Like, I don't know what to say. And I almost don't have it the confidence. Really to talk. Weird, and I don't, I don't even have the confidence to say it. But you turn a camera on me and I'm yeah. like, ooh. Like, I go into all this, like, yeah. dirty shit. Dirty talk's weird, right? <laughs> it's really hard. Like, even, like, if I try to, like, whisper <laughs> and, like, the girl I'm having sex with, I'm like, yeah, baby. It's, no, I'm just I like, like it, it's just like, is she gonna be into this? Am I gonna say the wrong thing? No, it just is like, it makes me cringe. Right? It's just like, it's just, yeah. uh, it's just like not me. And also, you don't want to have. You want it to come naturally. You don't want to have yeah, to right? think yeah. about it. Like, what should I say? You yeah. just want to be in the like moment, a moan, a know? moan here and there is good. Or like that feels good. I like it when you do that. that yeah, those that's, are that's easy. Those are I think solid. that's more dirty talk should be. But yeah. like, I feel like when you're like, uh, if you have to fake it. You can just like instantly say the most heinous thing possible, and then it just sounds like, like good I dirty talk. It, it, but then, like, <laughs> if, if I put on the spot, I'm like, <gasps> yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing comes out. Well, like, even uh, if like so she's like, spank me, daddy, it's still just like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> yo, a few steps back, <laughs> not there yet. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> see on camera, like I could do all of that. Like I could say all these things, but it, like I don't want to say them off camera because, and it yeah, doesn't come naturally because that's not really like me. I'm not yeah, going, 100%. oh, thank you, daddy, and yeah. like I love this big cock. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't, exactly. I don't exactly. say that shit. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, it, it's just so weird. How like, often is that scripted, or is it part of your character that you kind of like improv that? Or improv. Is there, it's never scripted. Like say this is like dirty talk. On occasion, it could be scripted. Like mm. sometimes the director will like like on a uh, like a pause if it's a really big production say okay let's get this shot say this you know Mm. but most of the time it's just improv and they want you to talk if you're being too quiet they literally are going like this like say something oh really Mm -hmm. or like are 90 percent of your moans on camera fake no not the moans but honestly i personally i think that most people you don't have to moan like you can come in orgasm without it So, like, it's just something that we do organically, and it doesn't make it fake, but what I do is I do, like, pick up the moaning. Okay, okay. Like, I emphasize it. Mm. So, it's like, uh? Like, what's an emphasized moan? Oh, oh my God. (gasps) Oh, okay. When the, oh, my God, when the, oh, my God gets in there. I don't need to say that shit, you know? (laughs) Like, I could totally come, like, without making a a noise if I wanted to. Right, fair. That, that is, that makes that way is way like just wild how quickly you can do that. Like how quickly like you can just like completely. <laughs> <laughs> just how quick, yeah, but yeah, I guess it's it's really interesting. Like it's I don't know the whole thing's like it's like very interesting how there's like such a. Um, yeah. Well, it, you, there's just like a very big difference between like work and home. It seems like it is. Yeah. Right. It's a very big difference. Did, I mean, was that, that ever like? Is that, that ever I, like yeah. damage? Is is that kind of like damaging at some points, or is like it's you know a difficult thing? Did you ever have like like troubling times with that? Not to like get like. But oh just, no no! I'm yeah, an open. Sentimental. I'm an open book. I'm trying to think. <laughs> like, was it ever like they expect you to be like you are in your videos? Right? Okay, yeah. So yeah. that is my biggest issue. Mm. Is like, and it's not even them, but it's the fact that if I'm ever gonna sleep with somebody new, I've always felt like I'm put on this pedestal as a porn star because a lot of them I mean, like, you know are, who right? I am. I feel like you are. When you expect, kissed her, like, we all oh asked like, how was the kiss? Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the question, just, which is normal, weird that we asked that. I mean, yeah, I just think, I think you're great at what you do. So, like, I think when you try to have sex with other people, there's, like, 
wow, this is going to be I, awesome. I almost right? feel, yeah, right. they're like, oh my God, it's a porn star. It's Mia Malkova. Yeah. I've seen X, you know, amount, uh, about her. But at the same time, like me, I get worried because I know I'm not like that. So I feel like I'm undelivering and I have right. to perform. True. Yeah. yeah. I could totally see that. Yeah, I could see. And that like, in, like gives me anxiety <laughs> like about I it. That. But I, I bet that. the guy I'm sure is feeling just as much anxiety on the other side oh, of it true. of like being with you and then you're like oh i need a it's <laughs> fucked because they want they they're super excited to be they're super nervous to be with you and you're trying to be what they're what they're thinking it's yeah, like it's like yeah, communicate i'm, having, I'm, I'm trying to do a balance between being what they're thinking right. and being myself like <laughs> yeah. i'm trying to do a balance well, but then I, at the same time i don't want to be in my head i just want uh, to enjoy yeah. it well, well, like for, for the guy side right like if i'm having sex with you i'm like yo I, I got a small cock. Like, in all you've experienced. Just, like, just to let you know before we get into this. Or it's like, like you, you've experienced so much bigger than me. So I'm like, fuck, I'm not even going to like please her. You're yeah. in your head all like the time. It's like when you start and you just know that you're just like not, like that you're just like going to like come like quick, like relatively oh, quick. Like you can hold on to it for as long as you kind of can try, but like it's just like impossible. It's actually. I think that's kind of hot like, though. Like I think that's kind of hot as long as it doesn't mm. happen like every time. But if a guy's like so yeah, exactly. excited that he comes really quickly, then it's kind of like that's hot. It's just like for like the guy. Like if you've he been comes, like putting, yes. if you've been like putting in work, <laughs> if you've been like putting in work, and you've been like trying to like get with this girl, and then yeah. you're like into it, and then you're like, oh god, I'm like this is just like not going over. But then you yeah. just have to wait around and do it again. True. True. Yeah, that's it's what you have to do. Like is be instant. like, hey, I'm not going anywhere give me 30 minutes like let's kiss and cuddle and do something else in the meantime like okay. just don't, don't that needs to leave. be preached more <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that needs to be, be preached like more. i am not leaving 100%. that was hot but i will leave you in 30 minutes <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> take fucking note i swear yeah. to god i'll, I'll finish Some in like 30 have seconds people have like very good like pillow talk conversations though like a good pillow talk conversation is epic but like some people yeah but it's ever like you come too quick and they're just being kind of like mean about it. But that's not like they people ever do that though. No, like that often. No, they. I don't think most people would do that. Yeah, they so might like, like laugh and giggle playfully, but yeah. it's not being mean. Yeah. It's just making light of the, the main situation. thing. True. Preaches like, 100%. yeah, it was thirty minutes. You do it again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, is it so? Is it hard? So it's, it's easier. I feel like it's easier for guys to finish, right? Of course. Oh, so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, okay, yeah. So like uh, in like porn, how often do you like you finish? Compared to like uh, the male, oh, in, like, the very scene. very small percentage. I have been able to come on camera. Like it has happened, mm -hmm. but it's very very small percentage. Most of it I faked. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is that your favorite like uh, actor that you like to film with because he can make you do that? Or is it, like a no. good different like? I mean, some of them are like really talented at making you squirt, but you don't mm -hmm. really orgasm when you squirt. It's just squirting. Um, mm. It really is just like some, like your body. Someone can be doing all of the right things, and sometimes your body's like, "No, that feels good. We're enjoying ourselves, but you're it's not, not gonna. Today. It's not going mm -hmm. to completion. Sorry." <laughs> so, so girls just don't like. Okay, so the squirting scenario it's kind of confuses me because like, because I'll make like some girls like finish, but like they don't squirt. But like I'm just like they're yeah. different. Is but how how not are they every different? not every girl can squirt for one. Um, so do you have to like plan out a squirt? Yes. So there's like a special oh. technique. I'm not able to make another girl squirt. I'm not able to make myself squirt. But I, I mean, I've been able to do it once and it was just like the littlest bit. But basically, like what I know of the technique is like it, you go in and then you kind of do like a come hither motion on the G spot again and again. Um, but like I said, not every girl can squirt. Don't expect it every time. And then as far as porn goes, like most of that's just pee. Oh. So squirting, squirting is real. Girls can squirt, but most of it's pee. On yeah, camera, the thing it has that. Be, right? But do you squirt no, while you wait, finish? I, no. No. Because you need it. No. The thing that it. the thing that guys need to learn and get educated on is how to make girls come from. Like it's not like a. It's not supposed to be like aggressive. It's supposed to be like. You, like like you should like learn because that isn't I, everybody like different. Everybody's, everybody's different. Everybody's different. And, yeah. Um, so it's like. And uh, uh, going back to the squirting thing really mm -hmm. quick, there's mm -hmm. a different hole. Like yeah. we, we have like our our <laughs> vaginal hole, but there's like a little pee hole right above it. So you know if she's pissing or yeah. she's squirting. Um, but as far as like making a girl calm, <laughs> I think the big... <laughs> this Sorry. dude, no, no, it's no. so funny. I'm, no, I'm not going to say it. I'm not gonna I say mean, it. you can say it. We can say it. It's a good story. Just keep the names out. Okay, so can, we, can I, if you don't mind, I just have That's a quick okay. story that really quickly pertains to this. In like seventh, eighth, or ninth grade, I, I think it was ninth grade. But it I was a horny boy. So it might have been eighth grade. 
Berkey had this girlfriend of sorts. I don't know. But anyway, he like, there was some, we were in some group and he was talking to us like the guys and he was like, yo, which hole are, am I supposed to finger because I fingered her pee hole? No! But like, but like, he didn't, like I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. He didn't like, he didn't like, I didn't like, I didn't like finger, I didn't he didn't finger to. her pee. Like, like I didn't go but in. It wasn't, you, went, you went for it. It wasn't, it, there was nothing, he had nothing to do with the clitoris. <laughs> but also she was wearing yoga pants. But he was pants also and, and, and not, and there like, was also no, no vaginal canal happening. It was the in between clitoris. Clitoris vaginal canal. Yeah. Which is where I was in seventh from. grade though. Or eighth he grade. Was ninth learning. grade. Did you hurt her? <laughs> I was in ninth grade. Did you hurt her? No, Did I don't, okay? I, don't th- I think she's good now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she's about to graduate. Oh, she's walking future. again. Get away from there. No, <laughs> she's <laughs> walking. <laughs> she's walking she again. She can pee straight. It's good. <laughs> yeah. She like, comes out of her room now. She's like not scarred anymore. <laughs> yeah. I remember. But it was fun. No, sorry, sorry to cut yeah, you off yeah, again. Yeah, but she broke up with me and then uh to way the way of uh, her to get back at me was to tell all of her friends that I fingered her pee hole. So everyone, <laughs> like this thing going around the school was, Berkeley doesn't know where the clitoris is. I mean, it's a funny story. Yeah, She's no, in the good. seventh grade. It, it was, you I mean, know. It was, you <laughs> didn't know where the clitoris is. I would tell is, all, all my just, friends. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. Are you, live in, you live and you learn, okay? <laughs> I'm over it. I'm over it. It's good. Anyway, so that's, yeah. that's Berkeley's uh, sex ed. I remember the first girl girl I did was on camera and I didn't know how to finger a girl. I was doing this. Oh, <laughs> the stick and poke. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> the stick and poke. There's a lot. There's yeah. a lot of them. But do you usually girls wear like fingernails like when? Um not while not I was not while I was doing a lot of girl girl. I wouldn't I actually won't finger a girl if I have acrylics on cuz one yeah, I don't want to yeah, give yeah, them painful. an infection cuz like you you oh. can get bacteria under your nails. Well, that that should hurt too. Yeah, but. two I don't want to stab them. Yeah. So like uh, while I was doing a lot of girl girl and performing, I didn't have acrylics yeah, cuz it's pretty close quarters in in there so there's not a whole lot. Of, yeah, I'm not trying on. to like fucking yeah. scrape them or anything. As with scissor hands. I'm pretty good with girls now though. I've had yeah. a lot of experience. Like I know what I'm doing down there. Do we finish the squirt? What, like, what is a squirt? Do we well, you, you're saying that's mostly pee. Is that because the, they're asking that we need it for the shot, or is it just out of it it's, just happens? To you be. can fake it that way. You can fake it that way, and then it's just more dramatic when they're like pissing everywhere, like it's gushing everywhere. That's like the squirt fetish. Okay. There's some people like like, that, like there's though. some people. It's like Jesus like Christ, that. I need to turn my phone off. Well, I honestly didn't. Ridiculous. I didn't like it either because yeah, someone would start peeing like during a scene, and I'm like <laughs> trying to like make it look sexy. So I go down there and like I go, hey. <laughs> 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 and then you roll around in the pee afterwards because you're finishing the scene. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's pee. That's crazy. It smells like pee too. What? <laughs> it, it must be pee. It must <laughs> be. It's, it's pee. wild because like, well, I always sometimes wonder like after you like see like. A porn scene that you're like, Jesus Christ, that was pretty messy. Yeah. Like yeah. the cleanup afterwards. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. And if I'm being honest, like during it, even with like piss and everything, when they're really messy, it's kind of fun. You're just like, fuck it, you yeah. know, but yeah. it's not ideal. Yeah, <laughs> like, true. Do you guys ever get like drunk before you guys film? Like, so it's more like drunk and sloppy. You I, know nev- what I'm saying? I never did. Um, that was actually very frowned upon from really? what I know really? of. Yeah. Wow. You have to like sign waivers and like you right. know it's, do videos. It's pretty like you, on lock once you get more into like the mainstream. Yeah, it, right? no drugs, no yeah. alcohol. You're like completely um, agreeing to have sex on camera sober. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that must be pretty hard. People did smoke a lot of pot. But yeah. Yeah. That's who different. cares? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pot's How do you pot. think it's different when uh, when when girls get in the industry now with like what what exists like OnlyFans, uh, people promoting on their socials? How do you think it's changed in the last ten years? Or do you think it it's not changed that much. Oh, it's changed so much. Um, I think that the shift is now instead of um, the talent needing the companies, the companies need the talent. Yeah. Um, and we're all like our own, like, I guess, entrepreneurs and we make all of the rules basically. Yeah. So as far as companies go, I don't think that like performers need to shoot for companies anymore. The only re- the only way someone who would want to shoot for a company I can think of is for exposure if they don't have it so that they can then branch off and do their own thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's my opinion. S- have you made more money off OnlyFans now than you had? Like the like contracts and stuff? By yeah. far. It's way different from, from like the contracts. By far. Really? So like... Even on like... Do you do browsers? Do you do browsers? I... I... I'm, 
I did, yeah. I would still shoot like girl, girl, but it's less about like the oh, okay, money gotcha. and it's more about just like appearing on their site and exposure yeah, right. for me. Okay. Um, because but you have to do like shoots and like be on like ads and yeah. like have like a porn star you profile. You don't need it anymore, stuff, right? right? You're, you're so big that it doesn't. No, matter. I don't need it, but like I'm, I'm very. Yeah. I I don't think you can ever stop growing. So I'm like, hmm, that's not a bad idea. Um, but as what, what was I saying? The difference uh, in, in contracts versus doing it now. Oh, you know, so wise. when I was shooting, I was one of the top paid girls. And for a shooting with a guy, a boy girl scene was 1500 for a day rate. Anal was, I think, 2500 and girl, girl was eight hundred to a thousand. How long would that wow, be? Wow, that's not like a lot at all. It's a day. It's an a entire day, rate, day. A day rate. Yeah, I wow. think my first anal scene was six thousand. That was for the very first one. Like we didn't make that much money. The is only it, thing was I was shooting often. Yeah, is it because they can say this is your first anal like scene. Yeah, that's why. You, so that's 6, why you get right. more. But like six thousand is fucking it's nothing. Not, yeah. 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 And, and the, the issue yeah. was, though, to be honest, it's not even the company's fault. The issue, I think, was um, Pornhub and X videos. Like, everyone has all of this free content, so they weren't paying for porn anymore. So they couldn't yeah. afford to pay the talent X right. amount of money. It wasn't like back in the day when you had these, uh, ma- like, everyone was buying copies mm-hmm. of it, right? It's the same yeah. thing with the music industry. It's just completely changed. Mm-hmm. Well, and there's a lot of porn stars now that, that don't have the same career that, like, you have a very successful career. Um, in in porn and now mm-hmm. like but there's porn stars that don't have that same career that because i mean what do you have 10, 10 million followers on instagram mm-hmm. like i mean there's people True. who have a thousand there's porn stars who were very famous making a lot of money that now have i think know, it's like the vine the vine yeah, of like, like the porn industry like yeah, Pornhub like was huge making your career like yeah know, and then just not like even branching off the new out of it, but if you if that is like the yeah. shift that you want to make then moving out of it yeah yeah, yeah. I haven't done like so I haven't shot for a company other than Playboy and that's all wow. just solo yeah, stuff in like four years mm-hmm. and even now I'm like in a new relationship and I'm like don't want to shoot boy girl if I'm being honest I just got into the relationship but at the beginning of the year because I <laughs> I went from one relationship to the other the relationship mm-hmm. was like four years but I was I was already kind of over it for a long time yeah. so like I didn't feel like I needed any sort of adjustment period um, but I was debating on if I wanted to still shoot boy girl or not, just cause I know I'm at a point where I don't really have to. Yeah. And if I'm being perfectly honest, I haven't really cared like, or gotten excited about it mm-hmm. in years. Like I could, I couldn't care less. I feel like I've had so much like sexual experience early on that it's, it's not important to me. I actually really like connecting to people with people. So even like one night stands, yeah, they're okay, but like I'm hoping for them to be like a friends with benefits sort yeah. of situation. And if that doesn't turn out to be the case, I lose interest. Because mm. um, they want more or they want less? Because huh? they want more? Like, or with even the if they just decide it's like a one night stand, I, yeah. I lose interest because I like to be able to like connect with somebody, even if mm-hmm. I don't want a full on relationship. Fair. Yeah, well, friends with benefits is really hard too because like. Even if you want that, like you want friends with benefits, but you want to connect with them. Yeah, I'm like, let's still hang out and actually so be it's friends like and get to know yeah, each yeah. other. And like that's you know? really hard for. That's just hard as it. If like someone's it's, not like, you can do that a few that. times, like a few dates or like a few times of hanging out. Like, oh yeah, we got this. But then like it always, you always think it's gonna work, and then there's always like a question of like, what are we? Or like it always goes that way every mm, time. Yeah. Like, you have a different uh, experience. Huh? You you've had different experiences. You don't agree. I mean, I don't know. I've been in, I've honestly, like, I've been in two long-term relationships, like, my entire adult life. Mm, yeah. I was in, I was married, and I was in a relationship for five years, and then I had a month off, <laughs> and I was in a relationship for four years, and I had, I had a month off, and now I'm in another relationship. <laughs> yeah, that's And crazy. it's not because yeah. I don't like to be alone. I just fall in love easily. That's all. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Fair, fair. And you seem to find someone that actually works, because it's, it's not for, like, a short time and a short time. It's actually yeah. for a long time. That's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's awesome. You could just you could tell yeah so on only fans you see like all these creators like like uh krina Kampf, she's a twitch streamer she's on david Oak's vlogs like bella thorne they made like a million in like a day or whatever crazy man yeah. have you ever experienced like like right when you dropped your only fans like something crazy like that no no um i was on only fans before it actually blew up Oh, wow. So I think before it blew up, I wasn't taking it seriously. That was like more the like Snapchat days. Yeah. yeah. So I was taking Snapchat seriously, and I think like my OnlyFans was on the side, and I was making like fifteen thousand a month on it. Well. 
Um, and then when I, I kind of gave up on Snapchat before it died because I realized the platform itself like was pretty like broken. Yeah. We weren't allowed to be on the platform, so it was never going to like feel yeah, that's secure. What it was, it was it like, pay, for, it was like, yeah, like other people, but de- like, yeah. all, like premium Snapchat. Right? Yeah, premium okay. Snapchat. I was like, oh, this is just so temporary. I don't really want to put my eggs in this basket. So I started focusing on OnlyFans and I started focusing on OnlyFans like, uh, I'd say a couple months before it really blew up. And when I was focusing on it, I was at like 60 to 70,000. Then it really blew up during, um, I don't mind talking about finances, by the way, (laughs) (laughs) obviously. (laughs) Um, Then it really blew up around COVID. And I was at like, some months were like 350 a month. Wow. Wow. And then um, now it's kind of like stabilized 150 to 250, depending on how much I'm doing on it. That's insane. A month. It's still so good though. Mm -hmm. And what's so good about it? It's like pretty consistent. It's always it's con- it was going up. It's consistent versus having like the one shot and then you're yeah. trying to like repeat that. And I think yeah. a lot of uh, creators see that because they get so much attention when they first drop it. You've been around for so long on the, on the platform. It's just like been growing over time. Yeah. And I really think like this is just my personal opinion. Like I'm not too worried about OnlyFans going anywhere because even if OnlyFans goes somewhere, I think there's going to be another platform yeah, that exactly. pops up because yeah. I feel like the culture has shifted where people want to support the individual content creator. Yeah. I mean, like Plug Talk, right? It's, you see Adam 22's new podcast, or like he he does like this full yeah, long, talk. yeah, he does this like full long form podcast, and then they also like film for OnlyFans as well. So it's like a kind of like yeah, intertwining. Talk about sex and then fuck. Yeah. Yeah. But it's quite the podcast. It completely like, changed the podcast. Yeah, Do really you guys <laughs> like the podcast? I haven't actually. I love it. it. I just like see yeah. it's yeah. Love it. It's great. It's, it's great. genuinely entertaining. It's not like you're not. It's like it's the most. It's revolutionary. I, just, I have a hard time. <laughs> I have a hard time watching Adam Twenty Two because I've just seen. I know him. Like I've I've watched Adam Twenty Two well, for so <laughs> yeah, yeah, long. Yeah, so like literally, long, yeah. I watched him when he used to BMX. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I don't yeah. know what it is. Yeah. It's the same thing. If it was a like a girl that I don't know. Like I'm not gonna watch. Uh, a girl that you know or like yeah, yeah. I'm not even that it's, it's like, like I, when you watch if it's something like in like your childhood like if you ever like um I don't know like fucking in like a childhood bed like like after like college <laughs> you or something back. you're like this is literally someone's childhood bed yeah. <laughs> it's like okay this is like you know you're like 20 you're like 21 now it's I don't know so it's like a weird weird feeling yeah. I was supposed to do the plug talk we had all talked about it and this was before I got into the relationship but I remember like like when I was doing his podcast, I was very honest with him. He was yeah. like, would it be different? Like, would this podcast be different if we had already shot together? And I was like, no, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. I, yeah. And it was just honest. Like, I don't I don't get excited about shooting with like guys anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I you guys talking for about a long that. time. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like, will it change I'm, if we had sex before? And then now we're like hanging out and talking. But yeah, no, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> so like for people who aren't porn stars, like, I mean, like we aren't porn stars like you. Like I know how many people I've had sex with and like I like I like know that you have like a body count number. Do you have like do you do like a body count for non like non uh yeah I do for people off camera, right? Yeah, for off camera and then for on camera, like do you have an est like do you have an estimate or I I would say hundreds, but I don't fucking know because the thing is, even for like the last few years that I was shooting I had a yes list, not a no list. So it was only the same yes. five guys that I would shoot with for years. It wasn't, oh. it was like the same five guys over and over yeah. again. So I really oh. don't actually know. It's probably not as high as I think or anybody thinks, but I'm just going up there and saying probably a lot. I, I count women too. So yeah, that's fair. I'm really not sure. Off, yeah. off camera, I think I'm at like 25 or something around there. It's not that high. Yeah, yeah because yeah, that's like a... Yeah, because that's what I was wondering. Because that's like a very like no like that's like a I don't know that's probably. I think yeah. we keep them like as adult stars. We keep like it very separate like in our minds between yeah. work and personal life. So like, how did you get into like the influencer space? Because like the first time we met you was through Bryce. You surprised us, uh, or you sur- Bryce surprised right, yeah. us with you. Were and you actually surprised? I was actually very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I no really? I, actually, I didn't believe it was you at first. Does it like, not look like me? No, it was just like. I didn't like. I, I was didn't not process expecting, it. Out of everyone, I, I, not even just out of. I don't well, even know who he, I was he, blind, even he blindfolded us, and he goes, he goes, he goes, uh, he goes. It's someone you know, like you've definitely seen her. Like, let's like you're gonna be surprised. And I walked in. I didn't like think it was gonna be you. And I was just like, so they're genuine reactions. No, great. hundred percent. I'm also not close with Bryce. So mm-hmm. like Berkeley calls me. He's like, uh, and like with Bryce on the phone, he's like, yo, yeah, come over, film this. So then I like pull up. 
and I've like hadn't been to this house before. I like yeah. opened the door and then it was just like you and then I was like <laughs> yeah. so, it was so how do you start do oh yeah go ahead. oh do you recognize me right away am i recognizable i did, I did. Yeah. yeah definitely recognizable. i feel like i look a little different than i did like i've i've been but yeah i think that that's also what it is too mm -hmm. is like also like i don't know like there's porn stars that you like know and then there's porn stars that like you don't mm -hmm. you're definitely like a more known porn star oh, but thank you. i think yeah. from like but also like i guess you haven't really been in like porn porn. recently porn. stuff yeah, yeah in like our like high school college porn era yeah. Yeah. That was kind of like when you were getting out of like transitioning mm. into not porn. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I do a lot of, I do like mainly mainstream stuff now. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was at. Like, how did you, did like when Bryce first hit you up, was that kind of when everything kind of like spiraled and everyone like, you started doing like more podcasts, more t like live streams with like Tommy and stuff like that? Like, is that kind of like um, where it all started? So I think it's, I think everything kind of started four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And that's like back when, um, right before I moved to Portland, I really started taking Instagram seriously. Okay. Um, so Instagram was like the first type of like influencer yeah. thing that I really, really took seriously and I was successful at. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I took Twitch pretty seriously as well, which was very safe for work. Um, and then I would say it's also transitioned since I've yeah. moved back to LA mm -hmm. and I've started like meeting everybody and doing a lot more podcasts and like hanging around with a lot of different yeah, people. Yeah, just collabing with a lot collabing, of people. Collabing, yeah. Yeah, because we've, we, we, like, I haven't seen you like on a lot of other podcasts, but recently like you're like doing everything. You're literally like. Yeah, well, if, if I'm being honest, I was in Portland and I was, I felt so isolated. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, I was all by myself and it was so much trouble <laughs> to go shoot with people or to hang out with anybody. So like I didn't really have friends. Like I was just by myself the whole time. Mm -hmm. So like I was so eager to come to LA and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to just collaborate with everybody who I've wanted to collaborate with for years yeah. and, if, and if, get it out of my system. If you're doing like an OnlyFans collab with somebody else and you're like texting, like obviously like you're going to have sex, right? Or, you know what I mean? Like, because that's like uh, what like the collab is. Or I'm saying like if you're planning in the planning process of the collab that you're going to have sex and then you like show up to like wherever you're going to be shooting, is it like how like a hookup would be or is it like more planned out? Oh, it's so, it's so planned out and professional. We're like, what are we going to wear? Like, let's get a makeup artist. Do you have a photographer? Wow. And like I said, I mainly do girl, girl now. Like, yeah. I think I only did two scenes, like, uh, probably in the last five years, I've done like five boy, girl scenes, not, mm -hmm. not with that weren't with my ex boyfriend. Yeah. Um, so like, it's, it's very planned out. And then we like talk and we're super friendly and it's like, mm -hmm. just like girls chatting and getting along, yeah. you know, before Is it easier when you're talking with girls scene. versus doing it with guys beforehand, like the, uh, breaking mm -hmm. the ice. No, I actually get along with guys very well. So like, it's a similar situation where we just like shoot the shit before getting, <laughs> before <laughs> we getting into it. Like nothing really happens before the camera starts rolling. So uh, how do you like prep for like a, like a, uh, like an anal scene then? Cause I heard like, that's like a big like it's like a two day, three day process. That one is crazy. That one is very crazy. It's just crazier um, than any other other scene. Um, yeah, that one. That's why I didn't do a lot of anal. Is it's just so annoying. Like <laughs> off camera, I don't give a sh like I yeah. don't give a shit. I'm just like if yeah. there's if there's poop, I don't care. Like it, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna ruin the moment <laughs> if I have to go in there and fucking douche everything out. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, on camera is different, especially with like a performer. You don't want to be rude, so you want everything to be clean. Um, but it's a huge process. Basically you watch what you eat for like a couple of days beforehand. The night before you try not to have dinner. You don't have uh, coffee or food in the morning. No coffee. Isn't it like, no all, coffee. Isn't it like an all Why meat no diet? Coffee? Because coffee's a, a diuretic and it'll like make everything That's like, true. yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. It'll make everything like go through That's you. Where, like, when is that what it is? Like when That's you're doing we're... it, you don't want it to go through. You don't want to poo. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Makes it's, sense. It's, you want everything like nice and plugged up. Um, well, is it, isn't it like an all meat diet though? Is it like you have to no, just that's gonna make no, you like, no, 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 that, no, that'll make you shit more. I feel like no, when I eat steak, it makes me like bloated, but doesn't. It is like doesn't come well, out. Well, there's it's vegetarians and vegans who do anal too. Like Riley Reed was a vegan for a long time, and mm -hmm. she did a ton of anal. So like, it's not it's not that. It's mm -hmm. it's really a about ton not. Of anal. <laughs> yeah, it's really about not eating, yeah. and then just like being careful not to eat beans and things like that. <laughs> like a couple oh, days God. before. You don't go to Mexican <laughs> right before. Is I'd be terrible for <laughs> anal. <laughs> yeah. I'd be, that's all and I then fucking the eat. Dude. The day of, <laughs> we have like like I would have a little bit of bread because bread takes a while to digest, and then like I'd have gummy bears 
bears too because that helps okay. like perk you up the okay. sugar and then gummy bears take days to digest too so it'd be gummy bears and bread um and then as far as like the preparation as well days before i would like have to dilate everything because you don't want to get hurt like these guys are really big um so i would have to they are really yeah. big like and they're like going really fucking hard it's not like at home where you can just like like yeah, take your time and warm, yeah ease into it so i would have to like dilate everything for the days or a couple of days before and i take a break the day the day before mm. and then the morning of i have a butt plug and then also like you douche everything out beforehand so you get a douche you fill it with water you get on your hands and your knees and you just like squeeze it in, like like sit on the toilet, and you keep doing it until it's all clean. Oh, but you get it, paid way more to do those scenes, right? No, I would tell like my my anal scenes were I think like twenty five hundred yeah. or three thousand. It wasn't way more. So it was not even worth it for you then at that point. No, because it's the days of prep. You're saying yeah. that goes into it versus. Yeah, okay. yeah it was just annoying. But, just annoying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that <sounds good>. yeah. <laughs> that's a lot of prep. <laughs> that's that's, a, lot that's of prep. like a lot of that's prep. Like, yeah, and like maybe you're just like stressed out or you're busy like the week before exactly. and you don't get around to it. So the day of, you get there and you're like. Ow! <laughs> Why yeah, does like, this hurt? Said, like the most prep I I've, didn't do this correctly. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like the most prep I've ever done for sex is showering and shaving. Yeah. yeah. Ever. Like yeah. I've never done more. Like that. Like that was like multi. That was like five days of prep. For yeah, that's because it's gonna be on camera. Yeah. And if you're yeah. pooping a lot, they keep having to cut. Like it. It makes it makes it a big deal. Does that happen? Like. On yeah, it happens. I've I've like had a scene where. Um, it just wouldn't stop. I did have coffee that morning. I <laughs> That's said, what it is. <laughs> yeah, I did everything else correct, but the morning of, I was like, fuck it, I'm having coffee. Because yep. I, if I don't have coffee, I'm fucking miserable. Like, I get really <laughs> mad. And um, and I'm really exhausted, too. Like, I'm just in a fog the whole yeah. day. So I was like, fuck it, I'm having coffee. And then it just, like, ruined the whole day. And it was with McBlue. And um, he had this idea. He said he did it with another girl where he uses his dick as a plunger. So he kind of like positioned me over the couch, which, which was a bit higher. And then he like put his dick in and he like did a few things and they pull up really fast. And then we had like paper towels on the floor. And he did that a couple of times to try to get everything out. The name just made total sense. <laughs> I thought mean, it was like a position. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> like, wait. Wait, 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 wait. He did that off camera? On paper? He did that it off sounds camera. Sounds great. So he did he that did off that. camera. He I'm just trying to imagine, like, that conversation. Like, just knowing you have that as, like, a party trick that, like, you can <laughs> Yeah, <do> like, <laughs> hey, <laughs> let's just plunge all oh, this shit out. Like, shit. we're all professionals <laughs> yeah. here, yeah. you know? <laughs> like, I wasn't even embarrassed. I was, I was no, actually, yeah. like, just grateful. I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like... You're that's, awesome. That's, yeah, no, I didn't even know just, that's a, like you could do that. That's like I didn't know you could do that either. Yeah. The wow. more you know. The more you know. Yeah, yeah, that's why guy's I a fucking just, true professional. Yeah, yeah. that is. A, I yeah. mean, it is a remarkable talent. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's uh, crazy. I was listening to a podcast that you're on, and then um, you're you're telling me this. I was you're t talking about this other story, like you're talking about celebrities that you've uh, you've hung out with, and you had this one like Italian celebrity. It's like it was a great relationship, but like on the third date, he came back to your hotel. He had spicy food, which is a mistake. And then you're just talking about how the entire night he just had explosive diarrhea oh, at this hotel. Oh, it wasn't really a celebrity. It was somebody. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he's not a celebrity. He's a, he's a really hot okay. Brazilian model. And I did like a Bollywood film with him. Okay. And oh, so he's big and like. Brazil. I don't know right? if he's. I don't know if he's big, but he's like he's like a proper model, and he's gorgeous, and he was super sweet. Yeah. Um. But basically, every day I was there, I was like, "Huh, you're hot. <laughs> like, let's do this." <laughs> but yeah, he. Um. I convinced him to come to my hotel and stay at my hotel, and he wasn't used to the food, and it was super fucking spicy, <laughs> and he, we didn't speak like he didn't speak good English, so it was kind of hard to communicate. But the entire night. Like he had to get up and he kept using the bathroom and it was the worst like explosive <laughs> diarrhea I have ever heard. It was like that's horrible. <laughs> just it was so fucking bad. It was all night long. Like I'm afraid I to felt like so bad. I don't. I didn't even mention anything to him. How I'm can like, you not mention? You gotta talk about. It. Well, we couldn't 
talk very much. Oh, he doesn't speak good. English. So I was just like, I pretended to be asleep and stay asleep, and I just never mentioned it. Like, like, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm afraid to like go into my room in my bathroom when a girl's like in my room and like poop because they'll hear my. Or they'll hear they'll, they'll like, like drop. They'll, or like, even the, like, like if you're in there too long and you flush the toilet, they know you've just pooped. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Or and just he's like just, farting he on just, the, yeah. No, no cares in the world. Just going. I mean, the guy didn't have a choice. He was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he was, was sick. You know, yeah. <laughs> it had to come out. Yeah, it's when you like almost shit your pants. That's you know? when you needed the plunger. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you need the That's plunger. You need the plunger. I still kept fucking him after that. It's not like I cared. Yeah. I just thought this is funny. <laughs> you know, <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> that, that, that's 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 a horrible timing for sure. <laughs> that was horrible timing. It's like I yeah. only had one time to see her and like hang out there, and he just ruined it. I mean, he's so attractive. I don't think he cares. True. He didn't, like I said, like we kept hooking up. It's not like I, uh, it's shit happens. Is he like, <laughs> is he like cologne model attractive? Yeah, like, he yeah, was like, gorgeous. Like magazine. Like Macy's model. you'd walk through. <laughs> yeah, or like in like a magazine where there's like the cologne model. It's like black and yeah, white. Yeah, he was stunning. It was actually like towards the, my ex-husband who was the porn star. Mm -hmm. I remember when I saw a picture of him because we had like somewhat like talked about if there are certain people that we wanted to hook up with, we could, we could give each other exceptions and i saw a picture of him and he did too he's like please don't hook up with this guy <laughs> <laughs> like he's like don't ask <laughs> and this was towards the end where i'd already like been trying to leave him and i wasn't really into the relationship so like a couple weeks in i'm like hey i want to hook up with him <laughs> like, yeah. and i did ask he's like do what you want and i was like okay <laughs> and then i ended up i ended up just doing it and then like he's like that's that's what broke us up but at the same time i was like completely okay with that i was yeah. like yeah i'm really done with it anyway so i'm just gonna keep doing this yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's funny that's a crazy that's story. such an interesting like relationship dynamic too like because there's not many relationships where like that's even a conversation that's ever had yeah i am very hungry that was, <laughs> that was really loud yeah there's not a lot where that's a conversation yeah, but it was interesting yeah i've been in some very interesting relationships um even my my most recent ex um that one was even a lot more open than i would say the one with the porn performer where everything was um off camera was monogamous this one like we i could actually go hook up with people it was just i was very very picky i i am very very picky because like i said i like to like have an emotional connection mm -hmm. um so it just uh it, it only happened a couple of times and then the relationship I'm in now is completely monogamous. I've never been with somebody who's not like uh, somewhat related to adult. Okay. Well, you you've never dated somebody that's n not related to the industry. This yeah, is the first except time. for this. Time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. How how different is it? What do you notice? I mean, it's not that different. Like I I'm I'm at a point where like it, even especially if like I fall in love with somebody, I don't want to be with somebody else. Yeah. Like the, the past relationships typically where I would start to like really go like, hmm, is when we'd have problem like a lot of problems and right. I was like very unhappy. It'd be like, why am I waiting around, you know, trying True. to make this work when, you know, he's over there. <laughs> like, right. Yeah, right. Let's open it up. Right. Right. <laughs> um, but it, it doesn't seem to. Yeah, it's not that's an a, issue at all. That's yeah. great. Good. Yeah. What's your what's your like most like you were like, filming a scene like what's the most like awkward or actually no, let's go like has someone been like a fan of you that you uh that was in like the porn industry and then you could just tell like they were like a fan and they're like wow this is like they're like excited to do this they're like um it mainly happened with girls not guys because um especially like towards the end after a couple of years in i would only work with very top talent mm -hmm. so they don't care. I mean, they care. They're like, ooh, Mia Malkova. Yeah. Like, yeah. she's hot. She's, but they're also, she likes to fuck. Yeah. But they're also kind of jaded. So, like, it's a good day at work, but they don't really care. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it was mainly, like, new girls that I would work with who would, who would be kind of starstruck. Like, oh, my God, I love you. I'm That's so, right. I'm so That's nervous. Something. So it's like, who do they see? Because it's uh, Lena the Plug, right? She's, I, I often hear on their podcast, like she's seen as this icon. When girls work with her, they're like, I get to work with Lena the Plug. Yeah. yeah. Is it kind of like that? It's like, like that, yeah. Okay. Which is extremely flattering, yeah. obviously. Yeah. It's like the uh, established, when you get to act with an established, like Brad Pitt or you, a big director. Isn't that funny thing. though? Yeah. I, get to, I get to work with this established porn star. You are, you're <laughs> the Brad Pitt. Well, it's like, it's like for David Dobrik. So I get a collab with David Dobrik, but mm -hmm. today I get a collab with right. me yeah. and yeah, over, right? Yeah, it's, it's like, like stars in every every yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so then you've been doing that, and then you've been going to social media, but you kind of stopped doing Twitch, uh, less so the gaming. Yeah. Um. Honestly, 
I, I had moved to a cabin in the middle of the woods <laughs> with, with no internet. <laughs> so That's, I, wait, wait, here? I wasn't able, no, no, in, in Oregon. Okay. So I was there for six months. So I wasn't able to stream at all. And then when I was coming back, like I was, I was focusing on a lot of other things. So I wasn't able to like take it as a priority. And then moving, I always take breaks from streaming when I move because I like to get really settled in and situated. Um, but I've been, honestly, I've been very active in the Twitch community, just not on my own stream. I've been jumping on everyone else's yeah, streams. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I am getting my new computer in and like setting up my stream room now. So it's Good. something I plan to like get back into. I actually really miss gaming. Like I'm itching. I, I miss my computer. What's your favorite game right now? Um, I mean, I haven't, I haven't had my computer <laughs> since I moved. So I'm not playing anything, but the last few games that I played that I loved, I was really into World of Warcraft before I stopped playing. Mm. Um, I had just finished The Witcher 3, which is my favorite yeah. game of all time. I really liked the, um, Ancestors, the Human Odyssey. Mm -hmm. What which is that? It was like this RPG game where you had to evolve. You, you played, um. It's kind of like Skyrim, right? A little bit? No, not that one. Not that one. You played You played like a clan of, uh, I, I don't know if they're Bonobos. I forget what you call them. It was like a very scientific term. Mm -hmm. um, but you play your clan. You have to like explore the world and you have to like um, explore things and survive. And uh, like as you do things, you start evolving and you learn like you, you make tools and you learn how to heal yourself. Okay. And it, it just gets like your uh, your clan keeps evolving until it, it the game ends right before you become um, I guess a caveman. So I'm really hoping a second one comes out so that I could be a caveman. So there's no like Fortnite for you. You're not you're not hopping in the Fortnite wave. You're playing like real games, like more like yeah, these, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. yeah. I can't. I'm not good with first person shooter. I get mm. I get really stressed out. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's I like, 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 of like yeah. You play. yeah. I, I spend like I spend like half an hour sneaking around and trying to gather everything, and then as soon yeah. as I like <laughs> run into somebody, I'm dead within like <laughs> yeah. 30 seconds because yeah. I'm like ah <laughs> no, yeah. there's a person. It's what do a I do? Hard game. What's your yeah. uh, Gamer tag when you play is it like Mia Malkova, and then when you're online, do you ever have people be like, "Are you the real Mia Malkova?" Yeah, I typically try to like do my actual name. People like to steal it, oh, yeah. but I typically do because I like I like the attention. You like when they go like, Are you, yeah. "Is that really?" What do you say when someone's like, "Is that really you?" <laughs> I say, "Yeah, of course it is." <laughs> like, what? What? It's yeah, but like, no, it's not. No. Um, I mean. No, people no, people know it's me. World of Warcraft, my characters are always called like Mortalitine because that was what I that was like a I like to role play, but um Fortnite people knew it was me. Yeah. But I, I only played that a little bit. I mainly got carried by other Fortnite like pros. <laughs> yeah. I'd let them carry me to to the victory. Literally they'd be like, Hide, hide here and like yeah. come and heal me and save me when I needed saving. So yeah. I would make it all the way through. That's, <laughs> like, funny. That's funny. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so your Twitch, um when you when you get when you now have like a fully move in, you're gonna start going back to it. I'm really interested in um I'm really well obviously I wanna play games again. It's not the meta anymore. I kind of miss that, but I am yeah, really interested 100%. in a Final Fantasy fourteen because it's very story based and it's high mm -hmm. fantasy. I really like high fantasy games. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm also interested in doing like a lot of IRL and like bringing on different guests. Like like there's so many girls that I know out here, like influencers, Instagram models, porn stars that would mm -hmm. love to come on and just have fun. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of fun stuff I want to do with it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you watch a lot of fantasy shows too? Because you play a lot of games, right? What, what do you like? I'm a nerd. I, I love high fantasy. What's your favorite fantasy show, fantasy shows or movies? Right <coughs> um, I mean, not favorite, but anything fantasy I'll watch if I'm being honest. Like uh, Carnival Row. Oh, Have you heard no, of that? That's heard of Orlando it. Bloom, and I don't know how to say her name. Like. Cara Delphine or something. Yeah, that was an an amazing show. I fucking loved Carnival Row. Um, obviously, I've I've watched The Witcher season two. Right before that, I binged it. Like any any fantasy that thing that comes on, I'm gonna turn it on and give it a shot. I also love any like anything historical. Okay, yeah. like Have medieval you seen the crown? and politics. The Crown. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course, uh, I've seen the crown. the crown. Um, I really liked it. I think at times it can be very boring. Like it could be like it could be very slow, but it's something I really enjoyed watching. Yeah. Um, when I say like historical, like the Borgias and like the the White Queen and and um, like even movies Vanity Fair, like just things like that. Anything historical. Oh, The Great with Nicholas Holt and. Okay. Um, I know her name, but I can't remember it right now. I know nothing. I know, I know <laughs> nothing about any of these. I really, I really like The Great. Did you watch uh, Downton Abbey? 
No, I've started it, but it's that good. so it's, it, it's does it get better? Ba- I was gonna say it was a bit slow, and typically I I do like slower things. Like Pride and Prejudice, one of my favorite yeah. TV shows is the mini series with Colin yeah. Firth. Like I fucking love that yeah, that mini series. I, I, I watched it when I was sick once at uh, from school, and I you guys just said about ten. Shows. I know you guys know <laughs> about that we're talking about. <laughs> I know Squid Game. The, Squid Game. Squid I know Game. Money Heist. I watch, I watch a lot of TV. Like I've seen a lot of TV shows and movies, I've never but been I didn't hear. Genre of, like, Those are the shows I don't really watch with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're you watching watch, Down Abbey together. You should watch. You should watch The Great. It's it's a comedy and it's really really okay. good. Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah. Oh, all right. Uh, it's been an amazing episode. Mia, thank you so much for yeah, coming over. Coming this was a lot of fun. Thank you, thank you. Uh, guys, make sure to subscribe. All of Mia's links will be linked down below. Go ahead and follow her on everything. Leave a five star review. We'll see you guys next time. Peace, I guess. Peace. Woo. Oh, yeah.